Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a 2000 calorie a full day of eating whilst working an office job. And this is something that I've actually done before, quite recently, uh, but I came at it from an angle, you know, where I had zero prepared. So I was just kind of winging it throughout the day, uh, picking up quick and easy options and staying on track with my calorie goal in the process. It was a good video. But today I'm gonna to be showing you what my typical full day of eating would be like if I was was working an office job, which I kind of am to be honest, uh, and consuming 2,000 calories per day as well. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, uh, and let's go. Okay, so let's start with breakfast, and with this meal, two things would be really, really important to me. So number one, um, it would be something that would have to be quite low in calories, so on the lower calorie side of things, and that's because I personally like saving more of my calories for the late afternoon and the evening time. Uh, and number two, it would need to be something that is quick and easy to prepare, so 10 minutes max uh, because anything more than that you know especially early morning it's just an effort and I would much rather spend that extra time in bed. Okay, so quickest and easiest breakfast you will ever make. So I'm gonna start by adding 300 grams of fat-free yogurt to a bowl. Uh, these ones here are banana and peanut butter flavor. They taste unreal. And per tub, there is 83 calories and 14 grams of protein. So calorie to protein ratio is very good. And then to increase the protein a little bit more, I'm going to add 10 grams of double chocolate whey protein from a bulk to the yogurt. This protein tastes so good. Use it every single day. Use it in porridge, use it in yogurt. Um, and yeah, if you're picking anything up from bulk, then make sure you go through the link in the description of this video. It would mean a lot. All right, next in goes 100 grams of frozen strawberries and banana. Uh, and what I just do is heat them up in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so, uh, and that pretty much just defrosts them. And these are the ones that I'm using, by the way. You uh, get them in Aldi. And lastly, I'm gonna add 15 grams of dark chocolate chips uh, for those healthy fats. Okay, so quick, easy, delicious, healthy, low in calories, high in protein. This literally ticks all of the main boxes and what I recommend doing is eating it with a teaspoon and not a tablespoon uh, because it's just gonna last that bit longer uh, and yeah, you can just enjoy it that bit more. No problem at all, no problem at all. I'm just glad we got it sorted uh, and I'm sorry for any misunderstandings. Yeah, I will be sure to let my supervisor know right away, right after this call. Okay, you too, bye, have a nice day. You idiot. Okay, it is just gone 11 a.m. Uh, and that means it is a snack time. And this needs to be something that I can have right here, right at my desk, and something that doesn't cause too much ruckus or excitement either, because you know that once you bring in something that's slightly different or slightly extravagant, you have everybody coming over asking, what's this, what's that? We don't have time for that. So I have my coffee here, and with that is going to go this protein bar from Aldi. So this is the cookie dough flavor uh, one. It says it's new. I've never tried an Aldi protein bar before, so I don't really know what to expect. I don't have massive expectations to be honest, uh, but in the whole thing, there is 219 calories, 21.1 grams of protein, and that's pretty standard. Let's see what we are working with. There it is. Okay, so this has actually exceeded my expectations. I think they've got the cookie dough flavor pretty spot on. It's probably not the best protein bar that I've ever had, um, but it is a little bit cheaper, which is a good thing. Um, so yeah, I definitely think it's a good show. But I'm gonna get back to work, talk to a few more Karens, uh, and I will see you at lunch. Oh, and just a quick one to let you know that when this video goes live, I am opening up five one-to-one -one, uh, coaching spaces. And for those of you who watch regularly, you will know that I do not do this very often. Uh, and when I do, those spaces go very, very quickly. So if you're somebody who is just really struggling with your weight, with your physique, and you want 2022 to be the year that you just finally get on top of it, take the guesswork out of it, get the plan, the support, the accountability in place that you need, then this is something that you should definitely consider. So I will leave my coaching application form in the comment section below. It will be uh, the pin coming at the top. And yeah, take some time to fill it out uh, and I will get back to you in the coming days and we can have a chat. But it is lunchtime and if I worked in an office, I would definitely prep some of my lunches. So um, on Sunday evening, I'd probably prep for Monday and Tuesday, on Tuesday evening for Wednesday and Thursday. 
and on Friday I would probably treat myself to a burrito bowl or a Subway maybe or something like that. And with this meal, you know, it's obviously important that it ticks all the boxes in terms of calories and macros. Um, but it's also, you know, vital that it's something that does not stink up the office, your breath, or your hands. You do not want to be that person. You don't want to have that label. And um, so I think most fish is probably a no-go. And um, something really, really garlicky, probably a no-go. Uh, and then cheese and onion crisps or chips, as those of you call it in the US or Canada. And um, anything just really, really stinky or strong. No, save it for later. So let's get to work and I'm actually going to be making two portions just to show you how easy this meal is to meal prep. Uh, so here I have 300 grams of raw chicken breast pieces. Uh, I'm going to spray them with some one cal spray. And then I'm going to season with some salt, some black pepper, some chili flakes, and quite an extensive amount of paprika. All right, so this is how we are looking. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but now the not so nice job of mixing everything in. And now I'm just gonna add it into a pan and let it cook away for a few minutes on each side. Okay, chicken is looking ridiculously good. I have put it to one side. Now I'm gonna respray my pan with some one calorie spray and add one yellow pepper, one green pepper, and one red onion that I have chopped up into little pieces. And remember, all of the ingredients here are for two portions. And as the veg is cooking away, I'm gonna get to work on my sauce. I'm gonna start by adding 40 grams of sweet chili sauce to a bowl. That is gonna be followed by 30 ml of light soy sauce, 10 ml of Worcestershire sauce, 50 ml of low calorie maple syrup from bulk, 40 grams of tomato puree, 150 ml of water. And now we just mix it all together. All right, let's bring everything together. So veg is looking good I'm gonna add my chicken back in I'm gonna add in 250 grams of microwave rice and you actually don't even need to uh, heat this up in the microwave if you are meal prepping it because when you are heating it up for lunch or whenever you are having it it will be heated up then so let's mix everything in together as best we can then let's add this unbelievably good sweet chili sauce give it one final mix and then actually just let it simmer away on the pan for a few minutes at a medium to high heat uh, just to let the sauce uh, reduce and thicken. Okay, so this sweet chili chicken dish is so good. It basically feels like you are having a Chinese takeaway whenever you eat it, it's unreal. Um, and yeah, as I said, there are two portions here. So what you can do is just get two lunch boxes, put half in one, half in the other, and you're good to go. And to be honest, I am a big fan of having something sweet after my main meal. So I have picked these little packets of sweets up from Aldi. Uh, so they actually sell them at the till, in my Aldi anyway. Um, and there are mini gums and soft foams. I think they do one other thing, jelly bears as well. So the great thing about these is that number one, they're a little bit lower in calories than normal jellies, probably because they are sugar free. Number two, you actually get loads in a bag so 75 grams is one bag and it gives you a huge portion and uh, number three one bag is only about 159 calories so let me actually show you how much you get okay I don't really know how I'm gonna do this here but yellows oh and the one slightly concerning thing about these is that when I put them on my Instagram story about a week ago or so and a number of people like responded to it and they were saying they produce laxative effects but like, that is actually written on the packet, which I did think was a bit weird, but you know, it was just one of those things like, nah, I'm sure you have to be consuming loads and loads. My stomach is completely fine with them, but, but uh, when Rach has them, um, I don't think they produce laxative effects, but she gets a very uncomfortable stomach anyway. So if you are picking these up, um, yeah, just be aware of that. Maybe stick to one bag and see how it goes. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be consuming two or three bags a day. Okay, so when you get home after a long day of trying to get away with doing the bare minimum, um, you're most likely tired. 
you know, you most likely have a few bits to do, whether it's uh, going to the gym, whether it's doing a few bits around the house. Um, so I think, you know, when it comes to your dinner meal, of course it needs to be calorie macro friendly, of course it needs to be tasty, uh, but for the most part, you want it to be quick and efficient, especially during those early stages of the week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you might have a bit more desire uh, and a bit more energy to do something later in the week with the weekend approaching, your mood is always a bit higher. But during those first few days, I really think efficiency is key. It is for me anyway. Uh, so yeah, with that in mind, let's go make dinner. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add 40 grams of whole wheat pasta to a saucepan of boiling salted water. And as the pasta cooks away, I'm gonna add half of a green pepper, half a yellow pepper, and half of an onion to a frying pan. Let's season with some salt, some pepper, some garlic, and some chili flakes. All right, pasta is ready to go. Let's add it to the veg, which is cooked. Then I'm gonna add in one can of tuna, which is 112 grams drained, 125 grams of a tomato based pasta sauce. This is the one I'm using, so just a spicy pasta sauce. And just for reference, per 100 grams, there is 45 calories, which is pretty good. Let's mix it all together. And now let's add 25 grams of 50% less fat cheese to the top. And then you can just leave it for a few minutes and let the cheese melt on top. Okay, so I was trying to think of like the kind of relationship that I have with tuna and it's one of those things that I never really have unless I have to. So for example, if I've got no chicken left or whatever my protein source is, but I have a can of tuna in the press that's been there for the last six months, I'll have it. Then when I do have it, I'm like, this is actually really nice. Like I need to have this more often and then I don't have it again for another six months. But the great thing about this dish is that it's so versatile. So I'm a massive fan of tuna in it. Uh, but if you didn't like pruna, but if you didn't like tuna and you still wanted to have a fish dish, you could go with prawns uh, or you could go with you know, chicken or turkey or whatever you want. Okay, so I always like my final meal of the day to be more of a treat. Uh, and yeah, just something to you know look forward to, something to keep me motivated, something to keep me on track. And I think that's actually a really useful strategy as well because if you have something to really look forward to throughout the whole day, and then you know, even if you do have a really stressful day or lots of things go wrong in your personal life or in your work life or whatever, uh, and you are a bit of a stress eater or an emotional leader, instead of getting home and just raiding the cupboard or uh, you know, ordering a takeaway that you didn't plan to order, you actually have a meal that you really look forward to anyway. So the likelihood of you going off track on your diet or going way over your calories, it just goes down. So let's get to work on this wonderful creation. And I'm gonna start by adding 40 grams of instant porridge oats to a bowl. You can use whatever oats you like. This here is pretty much a mix of rolled oats and oat flour so it gives it a nice creamy texture. I'm gonna add 160 ml of water. Give it a mix. I'm gonna put it in the microwave until the oats begin to rise in the bowl. I like them on the firm slash gooey side of things. Then I'm gonna add 30 grams of double chocolate whey protein from bulk. I'm going to mix that in. This is the kind of consistency that creates. Now I am going to add some toppings. So so 50 grams of banana, which is about half of a large banana, and 20 grams of dark chocolate chips. And then you have two options. So option number one is to put it back in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds or so, so the chocolate chips melt on top. Or option number two, if your girlfriend got you a mini flamethrower for Christmas, you can use that. Okay, so this definitely deserves a live taste test. Mm, ridiculous. All right, everyone, I am going to wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the recipes. Hope they gave you inspiration. I hope you got some little nuggets of info from my sh talk along the way. Uh, and yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure you comment below and let me know. Would really, really appreciate that. Uh, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up at least. Um, and if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all keeping well uh, and I will see you in the next video.